Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 12th of November and today I am live and we are killing uh, off-world security officers while being seen as little as possible. We are weak, but we don't care about being weak because we've got a shotgun and a, a slipstream. Uh, we're tough, X-Foundry, probably won't matter too much. Also got a crash beam, that's pretty nice. Uh, Shouldn't have too much trouble. The slipstream prevents most sightings. And the gun prevents most others. And with the crash beam, that's all of them. Let's go. Emergency shields, heat sensors, target fleas, jammer defender. We're probably just running past people. Get that auto zoom. Yeah, the, the replay on the stream monitor is really messing with me when I'm going through all these changes in color and stuff. It's a bit distracting. Four seconds is not the worst, though. Uh, we can go in there, get that. Target. They only have an emergency shield, so as long as they don't see us too much, we'll be fine. We're killing them, so the shotgun is fine. So, let's just go in here. It'll be steel, steel. And try not to be seen. Oh, I could get seen by you. I'll try to be careful. Ooh, you're dangerous. I was gonna just go up through here. That's a bit sketch with the sentry gun. This is gonna be close. I wanted to run back to the pod potentially, but that's not gonna happen. That'll get us seen for sure. Um, might as well shoot you, because you could have an item. Is this a super shotgun? Nope. Oh, it's self-charging. Wait, no, that's a slipstream. Never mind. Okay. So, we get another gun. Oh, right, that's loud. That's fine. Get a key. And I have a chance to, like, control my movement and stuff. It's great. I was just playing with the mod that removes all the time. Removes all pauses. And... Slow-mos. And it's pretty crazy. Give you a shot. I want that gun, though, because it's a... Uh... It's a loud weapon that doesn't use armor piercing. Armor piercing is a bit useless. Okay, we're assassinating, so we'll run in here. Hi. Die. Pickup crate, self-charging subverter. That is so good. All right, let's remote control go through. And... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The target dropped Sidewinder. That's important. That's important. How did I miss that? All right. Very good, very good. Ten seconds. Not quite under. But that's fine. It is not a speed daily. A better doc would have given me that. Okay, then we've got shields. We can crash. Target fleas. We can subvert, actually. All right. Approach from above. Okay. 
So we could set off the alarm and then subvert the pad. I'm tempted to do that. Or we could take the long way because we can. Hmm. And I'm getting pretty tired. I'll take this opportunity that's given to me. Just giving me extras. Giving me extras. Giving me extras. <laughs> I have the strangest luck with that 50% chance. Alright, so we can now return to pod, make sure the, the alarm goes off. The alarm goes off, and then we are good. Well, we have a simple final ship. We have, oh heat sensors. Oh, that's ooh. Okay, that's that's throwing that's throwing some notches. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Being seen as little as possible. What's the alarm? Medium reinforcements. Okay. Okay, this will be interesting don't get the heat sensors all that often and of course you can't see him when you're looking at it like this for some reason it did say heat sensors right yep I screwed that up okay I'm not sure what the best way to approach this is yeah there's those heat sensors let's go calmly and then boop. there we go Okay, we need to knock out the pilot, because we're not going to both ends of the ship to disable those. Actually, that's not very far away. That's not very far away at all. Normally, it's much worse than that. Can you subvert them? I'm too far away. Crash them too far away. Alright, we'll start with Slipstream. Uh, alarm is fine, don't care about it. I think I will... Where do I want to use a subverter? I think I can subvert these two doors. Then crash you. Yeah, that's all good. Let's go down here. And we... That's looking pretty good. I'm going to move to the side a bit. There we go. Reactivate. And then toss something so that you stop using those darned heat sensors. There we go. Turned off. And now we can get this moving. Got some sidewinders left. We're trying to not be seen. I almost forgot about that clause. As I am wont to do. So we will sidewind to minimize our uh, to minimize our time being seen. Get you to walk over here. Let's give you a nice crash. Uh let's give you a crash as well. I don't want the shotgun to be like bouncing off and hitting me, that's not great in my mind. And make sure we kill you. There you go. And head right on out. Do not uh, try to sidewind in there. We've learned that sidewinding while the pod is above the exit point leads to some weird stuff. A little bit far, but I can go boop. There we go. Seven seconds. Probably leads to ten. Ten seconds. That's very nice. Very nice day. 
Okay, that heat sensor was easier to deal with than I was anticipating, and I am quite happy with that. Got a nice $5.99. And there's 12 foot Dave. And yeah, here's what it looks like so far. It will probably change because we've still got many hours left in the day. And let's look at yesterday, the 11th of November. Got a 599 there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday was a speed daily. And I was able to get all three ships done in nine seconds. So I didn't have any penalties in nine seconds each. I'm very happy with that. And we have Kaysed coming in second. Managed to get a perfect style bonus on one of them. Very nice. And you have Kamikaze Scotsman. I've not seen you up here. Welcome to the top five. That's a, that's a good score. Someone I haven't seen before. Are you new to playing? Are you recently played? But anyways, congrats on the top three placement. That's very good. Then we have Zazaza in fourth and S. Sushiki in fifth. Good job, everybody. And that is it for the daily challenge. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.